Hi and howdy everyone, I'm Elle, I'm a part-time reseller, and today I have a, it's not a haul video, it's more like what am I taking photos of and listing, um, yeah, let's get into it. So, I have so much, all the stuff over here I see it listed, I have so much um, in my death pile right now I have to get, I just kind of want to get through most of it today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take photos of stuff, come and record it, and then put it away. So, this is the first part of what I have taken photos of. So this I got at the bins. The bins are not close to me. It was one of the worst experiences I've ever had. It's more like pee. Um, and I was moving really fast, and I was thinking these were old vintage. Not McDonald's or Burger King toys. But they are, so it is what it is. Um, some of the stuff I didn't buy. Um, my family has been cleaning out their closets, or I cleaned out my own closet. So some of that is that. This is like an old necklace I have. This kind of stuff is like good for Poshmark, for bundling, and things of that nature. Next is this bracelet. Um, I could not tell you where I got this. I know I didn't pay for it. Um, there was a sticker on it, and it had $26 on it, and I can't get the sticker off, but that's okay. Um, I know that I've seen people like talk about enamel, but I don't know how to tell what this is. There's no markings. So if anyone was watching this and they know what this is, please let me know. That'd be awesome. Um, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, I got this Sea Foley um, one piece. It's almost done. Brand new with tags. Can you see that? It's got the liner and everything. Okay, there's that. Um, this I bought for myself, and I think I wore it once. It is a, it's very hard to photograph. Um, a Victoria's Secret top, and this goes like around the back. So that's pretty dope. Alright, let's see. We have a cashmere sweater by Classics and Entien. I don't know. It's got a fun little pattern on the sleeves. It's like almost quilted. Then there's this bad boy. It's California Dynasty size large. It's a slip. It's got like a lace running throughout it. Quite long. Then I got this. I got this for myself. Let me stop moving that because it's so loud. Um, I got it at Plato's Closet. It's by Hello 3 AM USA. I got this for myself because I, I don't know, I thought I would wear it. I've had it for a couple months. Um, and I have not worn it. So therefore, it's getting sold. Okay. This I got at Goodwill. And I got it because I was like, oh, I'll wear it. Um... It's new with tags. I think I wore it with the tags one time for like an hour because I had to go somewhere. And I just, it wasn't something I was reaching for again. I think it's really cute. It's very Pinteresty, but it's just not, I don't know, not something I went for. Size two. Got this at Goodwill. It's a swimsuits for all. It is new with tags. Here, I think it's a size 22 or 24. Um, yep, size 24. One piece. Um, swimsuits for all isn't the greatest brand, but when it's brand new with tags, you're paying very little for it. Why not get it? You know, it's approaching summer. It's the perfect time. So, that's my thought process. Um, this was mine. Apparently, it, I threw it over on the carpet because I was like, oh, maybe I'll still keep it. So it got all this dog hair back on it. Even though I just vacuumed, but it's fine, whatever. Um, and it's this Nike, uh, what would this be? Half zip almost. It's like, and uh, I got this during my first buyout, which was 27. Everything came out to 27 cents. Um, I've had this for a couple years. I've used it a bunch of times. And um, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> Okay, next is just this little necklace. Again, it's Poshmark kind of thing. 
it's really just a bundling feature. And it's one of those things that I like make a draft of and then when I'm on vacation or away or like haven't got my listings in, that's something I'll list. You know, just to like keep the algorithm going. I don't have photos of anything, but I have photos of like little jewelry, which makes eBay or whoever I'm, you know, I'm posting to mostly eBay. Like, oh, she's posting, she's active, the store is active, let people buy from her. Next is a Torrid size three dress. It's two pieces here. The top layer is sheer. It's super cute. Okay. This bag is getting full. All right, this was my brother's. They cleaned out their room. It's just a Kohl's Cares thing, but listen, five bucks is five bucks. So, ah, look at the little hair. Um, but I'm not gonna uh, turn my head away from money. All the little uh, tag plastic pieces are falling out everywhere. This um, I bought for myself. I wore it once, just didn't fit me right. Um, it's a, like a vintage guess, like Y2K style, size small, uh, crop top. Then I have some pipes. Uh, these are all, well one is Calabash. Can you see that? Maybe not, nope, it's still not gonna come up. And the rest are SNR. A bunch of distressed, super cool wood pipes. And they'll sell for about uh, generally around 25 for me. Uh, next, where is the tags to this? Okay, so I got this and I was like, ooh, this would be such an awesome, like, oversized trench coat. And it was just too oversized for me. So I ripped the tags off. And I always keep the tags and stuff that I get that I'm like, oh, I'll wear that a couple times and I'll sell it. It's a Julian Taylor. It's definitely vintage. It was originally $129. I will most definitely not get that for it now, but um, I keep the tags with it, sell it with the tags. I really didn't like wear it out or anything, so it is brand new. And yeah, we'll see what we can get for that. I only paid like how much ever coats are good will. This was also mine. I think this was my stepmom's <laughs> back in the early 2000s. And then she gave it to me. I used to wear it. I probably haven't worn it in like two years, but I kept holding on to it because I have an addiction to clothing wear. Um, so I finally decided to part with it. Super exciting. Oh, cool. Another bag. Sorry for the inconvenience okay um, people are blowing up my phone right now um then i have these i've had these for a while uh the pictures on them are so not good i got them at goodwill when i first started like reselling they are by gates size large and i mean honestly the pictures were so bad they're not in the greatest shape they have some water spots and stuff but uh just get Get them rephotoed, try to get them sold. That's all we can do. All right, so I'm gonna go put all this away, take photos of more stuff, and I'll see you in about 0.2 seconds. All right, we're back. Um, this, I have this little gold bracelet. I bought a bunch of jewelry lots a while ago, and this is just something I never listed. So again, good bundling piece on Poshmark. This is another thing my brothers got out of their room, uh, cleaned out, it's a Star Wars pillow. Money's money. We're not just going to leave it. We're not just going to give it to Goodwill so then they can charge $8 for it. This was my own. It's Collections um, for La Sud. It's a size 8. It's so many compliments when I wore this, but it's just one of those things. You wear it a few times and you're done with it, if you know what I mean. Then, um, I think these were my sisters or my stepmoms. They're from Roxy. Cute little combat boots, um, good for going into the spring. I have like no wear on them, so. Um, these are a size, I think, I want to say seven. A size, <coughs> a size six, God bless me. Okay, uh, next is a necklace. Um, 
actually, I love this necklace because it's got a mirror in the back. So, you know, you could be like, check, check your face real quick. Um, incognito because nobody expects there to be a mirror. Again, bundling on Posh. This was my own. Um, I bought it and I didn't realize that the jawstring, jawstring, I don't know if that's the right word, but is missing on the bottom. It doesn't really affect the the wear of this shirt. It's airy size small. Um, I find that a lot of this stuff uh, still sells pretty well, even with just like a minor flaw, because really you could put your own string in there if you so desired to do so. Um, next, this was a uh, dead stock when I got it. It's Pro Spirit Medium. It's like a crop top sports bra thing. Uh, and I wore it, but I haven't worn it in a very, very long time. So, hasta la vista to it, you know? Next, this was my sister's. Um, it's a Legos Friends boat. The rest of the pieces are in there. It's kind of just, I'm just selling it as is. Don't know if all the parts are there, but it's got two people, three people, two dolphins, so. Um, it'll sell decently well. Next is another thing for my brothers. Um, it's a pound puppy. Again, five bucks is five bucks. Like, when I just say that, I really don't know how much these are going for, but why not put it in my store? And people on Poshmark will come in and bundle the most random stuff. So, I just like to have options. Next, these are, I think these are, yeah, Adidas Predator uh, indoor shoes for kids. They are size, size something, um, size two. We are constantly going through all so forms of soccer shoes, futsal shoes at our house. So those were three generations hand-me-downs and now they're going to someone else. Next are these Tommy Hilfiger boots. Um, these were my stepmom's and these are size seven, I do believe. Oh. Yep, size seven uh, medium. And the fringe is just a little messed up, but a couple bucks on these. They're in really nice shape. Um, they got a little dirt on the bottom, but that's okay. I never clean my shoes like that. Um, to me, it's just not worth it to clean the bottom of them to get an extra dollar. It just really isn't. Then, these were mine, size 4 Lululemon. Um, I'm sure everybody knows this by now, but the tag rips out, so... If there's a pocket on it, go in the pocket, and boom, the size is right there. Uh, I got these at Goodwill for no more than 10 bucks. I get all my Lululemon from Goodwill. And I wore them a couple times, just not into the crap thing right now. So those will sell. And then I just got this, I tried it on. I just would never wear it. It is a Matilda Jane size small dress. I think it's a dress. I mean, it could be a top, but it's really long to be a top. It's super cute, though. All right, so I'm going to go put all of this away. Go grab the stuff from my death pile, and again, I'll see you in 0.2 seconds. 0.2 seconds later, let's go. Okay, so these are a, uh, another hand-me-down. Um, the youngest of my siblings have now outgrown them, so they're a little dirty. They are a size one and a half youth, so these will be sold. Um, then I got this at a garage sale a very long time ago, and I just didn't list it because I just didn't want to. But then I realized it's a longer burger bag, and it's almost St. Patty's Day, so I probably should like really list that like ASAP. Then found this at Goodwill. It's called BLT Brian Winchenberg. I don't really know, but the tag looks like merch, so I like looked it up, and it says feline meow, and everything I was seeing on these were selling for like almost 50 bucks, so I was like, yes, please. Then I thought this was just so cute. It's a neon Nike windbreaker. It's a kid's size 14. Just way too adorable to not get. Then um, 
I have a pair of pants like this, and they're airy, so I thought this was, is what it was, but it's House of Harlow 1960 Nicole Richie. I don't know what this is, size extra small. They're like velour joggers, and I don't remember the comps, but I remember thinking, oh, you know, that stuff sells pretty well. So, after I looked it up. So, we're going to list that. Then there was this. It's from Nordstrom. It's In Bloom by Jeanne Quinn. I don't know. Um, it's just like a little slip nighty. <laughs> then a moth piece from Anthropology. See there, moth. It's just a basic top in the front with a super cute button button back detail. Oh, some Nike running leggings. I just like the pattern on these. I thought it was pretty cool. Just abstract. And it actually has reflectors on each leg which is super helpful if you ever ran at night. You know that any reflector is a bonus. Then I've had these forever. I got them for free. Um, they're just Levi's. They're size 34 by 30. They're a fun color. They're almost like olive green and gray, but the bottoms are distressed, and I always disclose that. I got them for free, so any profit is a good profit. These... I probably got these for free. I've had them for a long time. I clean out my drawer. They're Eastern Eagles. Um, Eastern stuff sells pretty well for me. These are like an extra small. Uh, these are some figs, uh, size medium. As the first time finding figs, I know they retail for a lot. I've never sold them. Some of the sales were good. Some of them were like not so hot. So we're gonna try it, you know. Then these were some of my running shorts. They're just champion size small. In there, so small. So we need one of those. Then we have a Le Tigre um, vintage sweater. Size, what does that say? Extra large. Yep. And it's like a Kuji esque 3D. I always do great with 3D sweaters. Oh, that's a bit. Here we have a Duluth. Trading sweater, size large, chunky knit sweater. The only other one of these that was listed was listed for 60, and all the ones that sold were um, selling between 40 and 60. And last but not least of this round, because let me just show you here. I got a lot. So actually, you know what? Uh, after this, I'm gonna end this video. And I'll make that a whole separate video because this is a lot. So this is a Carhartt jacket, green, size, extra large. It's got like a stain on it by its pocket, but honestly nothing too shabby. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I know this is long, not the greatest put together. I'm not good at editing, but thank you so much for being here. Um, if you have any questions on what I use, I have it all linked in my Amazon storefront. Um, I will answer any questions if anyone wants to chat down below. So thank you so much for being here. All my socials will also be linked. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Hey, hi, and howdy, everyone. I am Al, and I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on platforms such as eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, Depop, it is invented Facebook Marketplace, and I think that is it. Uh, please ignore the background noise. Uh, but I have a part two of what I took photos of today and will be listing. So let's get into it. I don't even know where to start. Okay, first, there's some bogs, just ankle boots. They're size 12. They are Telemook Bay Romeo. These were selling for like 50 bucks used on eBay. Next is an Athleta size 810 girls gray hoodie. <laughs> then this one, I've never heard of it, but the brand um, was selling really well. It's Nadam, I think. It's Merino wool. Um, here we are, or mo mohair and wool. I've told them a gajillion and five times to be quiet, so I could film this, they are not listening, and I need to put this away. So it is now or never in um, showing you guys what I am listing. Next are these Columbia shorts. They're new with tag, originally 60 bucks. Size, that's a great question, what is the size? Size eight. 
I have this Sa Athleta medium tall skirt. It is a skirt, not a skirt, plaid. These, which I am debating keeping for myself, they're size seven, and I'm seven and a half, but they're like really big on me. They're Sorel, and they're just so cute. So I probably will keep them. I keep them in my drafts. Um, next. This bad boy was so hard, I couldn't even button it. I got three buttons in, and then I had to stop and unbutton it because it was just, it was so painful on my fingers to button it. Um, this is MNML. The brand sells pretty well online. It's not such a shabby brand. Then I have this vintage sweater. I think it's hand knit there. No size tag, no actual tag. It's super cute. Got the hearts on it. I had to pick it up. Let's see. Oh, these? These are gross. These are Crocs. And I couldn't get them clean, so I, well, that's a lie. I didn't clean them because I didn't like cleaning them. So I'll just put them for a couple bucks cheaper. Like, after today, I was just, I was not having it. I was not cleaning anything. Then I found this. It's, um, five a Baker Blanket. And it seems to be a vintage brand that sells really well. It's just a basket, or a basket, a um, tote bag. So I thought I would try it. Uh, this is an Assets by Spank. Love your assets by Spank. Size large. One piece, fun color. I can't pass up on swimwear ever, but especially not right now. Then I have a Coach Beanie, one size fits all. Super cute. Um, I will probably keep this for myself, list it, and then when it sells, I will uh, rewash it and get it out. Next, I have a Tumi bag. And it is engraved, so I was really going back and forth whether I wanted to get this or not. But it's new, it's tag, and the price tag was $495. You can put a patch over this, or you can rip this out. Like, it's brand new, what the heck? So, there's that. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, I got like a Patagonia dress. Um, it is a size medium or a tunic, just depending on who the person is. Might want to wear it with leggings, might want to wear it bare-legged. Then I have this cute ASOS dress. It is a pe petite six. It's like um, off the shoulder, asymmetrical something. I have sold this exact dress before. It is uh, Philip Lim or something, 3-1 Philip Lim by with Target. And it sold for like 30 bucks, so I had to get it again. Here's a little intimately free people size small bralette. This doesn't look like a small, but I ain't gonna argue with it. Let's see. These were mine. I wore them once, and I was just like, they weren't my favorite. A uh, little lemon size two legging. I don't know what leggings they are, but we'll get them gone. Um, I love selling polo, viral floor, and large button downs like Hawaiian. They seem to do really well. Um, not a huge money maker, but definitely a quick flip size, large. Sorry for all the choppy cuts. This is a Lulu's new with tag, extra large, um, yellow wrap dress. Super sweet. Lulu's isn't the greatest selling brand, but when it's new with tags, you can't pass it up. Then we got some Tory Burch wedge. Sandal size 10 medium, leopard print. These are sold pretty well. Then we have a Haute Shore bag. I'll show you the um, inside of it. A Haute Shore bag. It comes with two straps. It's brand new. And these seem to be doing really well. Over 100 bucks. But we shall see. And last but not least is this little hat. I thought it was a baby hat. And then I saw a tag poking through. And it is for love. And the original price was $95. So, oh, there we go, $95. Um, so I never heard of Furla, but it looks to be a bolo. All right, thank you so much for joining me. All of my links will be down below. My Amazon storefront, all my socials. So thank you. Have a beautiful day. Bye.